welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to make this super chunky, oversized sweater. Firstly, you don't need yarn of different colors. All these colors you see is just because I used a variegated yarn, which I will show you in a minute. This pattern is a double crochet moss stitch. The most part of the pattern is just one row repeat. Only the first two rows are a little different. It's super thick and doesn't have a lot of holes and it works out faster than the original single crochet moss stitch. I used 6 cakes of this yarn and the recommended hook size is 4.5mm which is what I'll be using for the sweater. You can use a color changing yarn like this so the sweater wouldn't look so plain but sometimes making the colors match could be a headache as well. So just a little heads up to help you decide if you want to use just one color or uh, multi-colors for the sweater. We will begin with the front panel. From the ribbing, work our way up. Make a slip knot and chain 10. This is the length of the ribbing. Chain one more to turn. In the second stitch from the hook, work a single crochet. Then work a single crochet in every stitch across. We should have 10 stitches for row 1. Chain 1 and turn. In the first stitch of the row, which is the second stitch from the hook, insert the hook in the back loop and work a single crochet. Continue working one single crochet in the back loop of each stitch. We should have 10 stitches for this row as well. End of row, chain 1 and turn. And start working row 3 in the same way. So I'm going to continue working like this until I have 100 rows. This is the bottom part of the sweater. 100 rows is pretty wide, around 27 inches. If you have your own favorite sweater, you can take the measurement of that and apply here. But make the row count an even number. This is how to count the rows if you lose track. So a bump is two rows. It goes up and down, so that's two. Then up and down, two again, that's two, two, two. So that's 10 rows. So after my 100 rows, I'm going to work on this side. 
Put one single crochet for every row. Chain one. And for row one, put a double crochet. Row two. In this loop, work a single crochet. Row three, a double crochet. And row four, a single crochet. Keep doing this till the end of the row. We should have a hundred stitches. Putting the last single crochet stitch. Next row is a double crochet row. Instead of a chain three, we turn and make a single crochet in the first stitch. Then in the second loop, insert hook and make another single crochet. This counts as the first double crochet. Then in the next stitch, work one double crochet as well. Chain one, skip one stitch. In the next one, make a double crochet. Then chain one again, skip one, double crochet in the next stitch. Repeat this until you have two stitches left at the end of the row. Put one double crochet in each stitch. This row is the foundation of the moss stitch rows that we're gonna do. Next row, chain one and turn. In the very first stitch, work a half double crochet. In the next stitch, one half double crochet as well. So we always start with two half double crochets. Then chain one, skip the double crochet. The next stitch, we have a single crochet below the chain one. We're gonna insert the hook in the single crochet Pull up a loop, give it some slack, and work a double crochet. Chain one, and skip the next double crochet, and work a double crochet in the next single crochet below the chain one again.
It might take some getting used to to adjust the tension, but that's okay. Just make sure it's consistent. Keep repeating the chain one and the double crochet. When we have two stitches left, put a half double crochet in each of them. So we start with two half double crochets and end with two half doubles as well. The next row is the same. Chain one and turn. Work one half double crochet in the first two stitches. Then chain one, skip the double crochet, double crochet in the next stitch. Make sure we work in the top two loops. Chain one, skip one, and then a double crochet. Put the last double crochet here and then work a half double crochet in the last two stitches. Chain one and start with two half double crochets again. So repeat this row over and over again until this panel reaches 24 inches in height or however long you want your sweater to be. Note that this doesn't reach the shoulder yet. We will still work about 3 inches after this. Now for the shoulders and neckline. Mark the center 2 stitches because we have 100 stitches. Count out 10 stitches at the center. Then I mark the stitch before and after. One is a double crochet and the other is a chain one. First chain one and work your way here. I'll see you around here. Okay, now we have three stitches left, including the marked stitch. Chain one and skip the double crochet. Make a decrease in the last two stitches. Double crochet in the first, pull through two once only, and in the marked stitch, Pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. So we turn two stitches into one. Chain one and turn. We're just gonna skip the first double crochet. In the next stitch, make a double crochet. Chain one and a double crochet, containing the usual pattern. I'll mark the first stitch for later. Finish this row and come back. Again, we have three stitches left. Do the same as before. Chain one and skip the double crochet. Then make a decrease. Then chain one, turn. Skip the double crochet, make a double crochet in the next stitch.
and start a pattern. This is row four. I worked up to row seven. I finished the sweater, but then I realized I messed up the recordings. So I'm showing you on a smaller sample here. Um, so here is my seven rows. Then I'm going to work one last row to fill in the spaces. This row is a single crochet row without any decrease. There's no chain one, just a single crochet in each stitch. Start from the first stitch, make a single crochet. For this one, insert the hook here and make a single crochet. When you reach the end, fasten off. Now the other side. Attach yarn in the marked stitch in the single crochet below. chain one. I made a mistake and chain two here, but please ignore that. Just go ahead and chain one. Skip the next double crochet. Start a pattern from the next stitch. Finish this row and come back. Now we have a double crochet and a chain one. Make a decrease by working a half double crochet. And a double crochet together. Pull through the two loops. Then with four loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all. Chain one, turn. Skip the first stitch. Next stitch is a double crochet. Chain one and skip that. Start a pattern from the next stitch. Then it's going to take some time for you to reach the end on the real side sweater. Back to the neckline. And we've done this before. We have a double crochet and a chain two. Make a decrease. We've just finished row four. Do three more rows. 
Finish row 7. Chain 1 and work one single crochet in every stitch for the last row. This is the last stitch. Make a single crochet and then fasten off. Put one single crochet in the center 10 stitches as well. Attach yarn in the marked stitch. And work a single crochet from the next stitch. This is number 10. Make a slip stitch in this marked chain one. Insert the hook from the left side of the previously attached yarn. And fasten off. The back panel has four more rows than the front panel. Then mark out 18 stitches at the center. And then make the shoulders in the same way. Three decreased rows and one single crochet row. Put 18 single crochets here. Then sew up the shoulder part of the front and back panels. For the cuffs, we will do 40 rows of back loop single crochet like we did for the panels. But I want my sleeves to be bigger to match the oversized style, so I'll do some increase. Chain 1 and make a double crochet for row 1. Row 2, we're going to work 2 single crochets instead of 1. So we put three stitches for two rows. Row three, a double crochet. Row four, two single crochets again. So four rows had six stitches. We have 40 rows, so when we finish this row, we should have 60 stitches. From the next row, do the same as we did for the front and back panels. I won't show you the whole thing again, so you might have to go back for this part. I made my sleeve 45 centimeters wide and 30 centimeters long. Finish it with a single crochet row, leave a long tail. So I have my front and back panels joined at the shoulder area. Then mark out the center stitches of the sleeve, lining up with the shoulder seam and attach the sleeve. 
The final step is the neckline. We will first do a double crochet decreased row. We will only decrease at the angles. So we've got two at the front, two at the shoulders, and two at the back. Make sure you're at the right side of the sweater and start from the center of the back panel because I have 18 stitches here. So I'll have two stitches at the center, whichever one is okay. Attach the yarn. Chain two and double crochet from the next stitch. When we are one stitch away from the corner, make a decrease by working four double crochets together. One in the next stitch, one in the corner, and two on this side. Yarn over and pull through. Then before we reach the shoulder seam, put three double crochets for every two rows. At the seam, I will do a double crochet three together. One in the back panel, one in the seam, and the last one in the front panel. Yarn over and pull through four. Work three double crochets for every two rows. Make sure the stitches are evenly placed. At the corner, make a double crochet four together again. and work double crochets as usual. Do a double crochet four together again.
then a double crochet three together at the shoulder seam. Try to make the stitch count of this round an even number to prepare for the next round. Finish the last decrease on the back panel and work double crochets back to the beginning. Slip stitch in the chain 3. Next round, we will do front post, back post, double crochets. Start with the chain 2, then work a front post double crochet around the chain 3. Then a back post double crochet in the next stitch. Then the front post, then the back post. This double crochet four together counts as one stitch. So does a double crochet three together. Do this for the entire round without any decrease. Skip the chain 2 and slip stitch in the first front post double crochet. From here, we're just going to do front post, back post double crochet rows without decrease. You can do as many rounds as you want. If you're not sure, just try your top on as you're adding more rounds. I'll add two more rounds and see how it goes. So I've tried it on and I decide to do just one more round, making the neckline a total of three rounds. Then you can fasten off and weave in all the ends. Then our sweater is done. It took me maybe three weeks on and off to finish this sweater, but it's totally worth it. I'm really happy with the result. So that's it for this tutorial. If you like this, consider subscribe and I'll see you next time.